Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Wasserman and today we are looking at uh, Unit 1, Lesson 6, uh, dealing with estimation and then uh, computation, addition, and subtraction. Uh, we are on pages 13 and 14 in our math journals. Uh, the assignment is entitled World's Tallest Buildings, so let's go ahead and get started. It says here that Terrell is a competitive stair climber. He competes by climbing stairs as fast as he can. This year, he wants to climb 400 stories. The Burj Khalifa in the United Arab Emirates is the world's tallest building with 163 stories. The Petronas Towers, the tallest building in Malaysia, has 88 stories. The Zifeng Tower in China has 89 stories. If Terrell climbs these three buildings, how many more stories will he need to climb to reach his goal of 400? Okay. So before I go any further, I need to uh, break down the steps of how I would go about solving this problem. And I'm going to use a strategy entitled RUCUS. Now RUCUS is an acronym. Each letter stands for a word, and that is reread the problem, underline the question, circle the important information, come up with an action plan, and then solve. So I'm going to reread this problem, and as I do, I'm going to uh, circle the important information, and when I find the question, I'm going to underline it. So here we go. Terrell is a competitive stair climber. He competes by climbing stairs as fast as he can. This year, he wants to climb 400 stories. The Burj Khalifa in the United Arab Emirates is the world's tallest building with 163 stories. The Petronas Tower, the tallest building in Malaysia, has 88 stories. The Zifeng Tower in China has 89 stories. If Terrell climbs these three buildings, how many more stories will he need to climb to reach his goal of 400? So let's look here. So far we've read the text twice. I found the question and I circled the important information. So now I need to come up with an action plan. Now, the phrase, how many more stories, is a clue. And what that tells us is that this is a subtraction problem. I want to subtract the difference of the total of the three buildings, 163, 88, and 89, from the goal of 400 to see how many more he needs to still climb. So we're uh, told in the story that those three buildings aren't going to be enough to hit 400. So what I need to do is I need to do some scratch work. So this is the first part of my action plan right here. And I need to create a number model that's going to help me visualize what I need to do. So the total amount is 400. And I need to subtract the difference of 163 plus 88 plus 89. Now you'll notice I put those three numbers in uh, parentheses. That's going to help me um, determine the order in which I need to do things. I need to know the total amount of the three buildings first before I subtract it from 400. Now in this story problem I'm being asked to estimate first. So what I need to do is I need to decide to what place value I need to round these three numbers. Well Two out of those three numbers are in the tens. One of the numbers goes into the hundreds. So I can approach this one of two ways. I could round uh, each of these numbers to the nearest ten or the nearest a hundred. Um, the problem that I get with rounding to the nearest hundred is this. If I round 163 to the nearest hundred, that would be closer to 200. However, when I'm rounding a number like 88 to the nearest 100, 88 is still in the tens. So the nearest 100 would be one group of 100, and the other side of that would be no hundreds or zero. Now the halfway point is 50 between no hundreds and 100, because 50 plus 50 is 100. And both 88 and 89 would fall on the right-hand side of my roller coaster model, which means they would both round to 100. So my estimated problem would be 200 plus 100 plus 100, and 2 plus 1 plus 1 is going to give me 4. And if I estimate that these three amounts added together is 400, if I subtract 400 from itself, 
That leaves me with zero, which isn't a very useful uh, estimate because it doesn't tell me anything. So really what I want to do is I want to take these three numbers and round them to the nearest tens place value, meaning that this hundred right here is not going to be rounded to the nearest hundred, but to the nearest ten. So let's look at these again. So 163 is between two groups of tens. 16 tens, or 160, and 17 tens, or 170. So my halfway mark is 165. So 165 is bigger than 163 because 3 comes before 5. So if I were to round to the nearest 10, it's closer to 16 tens than it is to 17 tens. Now, 88 and 89 are both between 80 and 90. And the halfway point is 85. And as you can see, both 88 and 90, or I'm sorry, 89, are closer to 90. So both of those numbers would round to 90. So now I need to set up my estimate problem, and it would be 400 minus a combination of 160 plus 90 plus another 90. So let's solve. I'm going to realign these three amounts. I'm going to write them vertically so I can line up their place values a little bit better. 160, 90, and 90. So when I start in the ones place value, 0 plus 0 plus 0 is going to leave me with 0. 6 plus 9 gives me 15. Add another 9, that makes my total 24. I'm going to carry the two, the 200s. 200 plus 100 gives me 300. So my total here is 340. So I now have to take this total, 340, and subtract it from 400, like so. So I'm going to subtract 0 minus 0, that leaves me with 0. I can't take 4 away from 0, so I need to go ahead and borrow from the 100. So I'm going to take 100 and break it into 10 tens, because 100 is basically 10 groups of 10. 10 minus 4 is 6. And then 3 minus 3 is 0. So my estimate is 60. That's the number of stories he has left to climb. So I'm going to write that down here. Now I need to find the actual amount how many actual stories does he have left to his 400 story goal? So I'm going to approach this problem the same way I did with the estimation. I'm going to add the three totals of the individual buildings. When I have that total, I'm going to subtract that from 400. So I need to solve for 163 plus 88 plus 89. So again, I'm going to take those three amounts. 163, 88, and 89, and I'm going to add them together. And now, since I have my estimate that it's going to be around 60, that's the size of the answer I should be looking for. So, 3 plus 8 is 11. 11 plus 9 is going to give me 20, or 0 ones and 2 tens, so I carry the tens. 2 plus 6 is 8, and then I'm left with three groups of eight. Eight plus eight plus eight, well that's 24. Carry the hundreds, two plus one is three. So my actual total of 163 plus 88 plus 89 is the same total as my estimate, 340. So that tells me that my answer is also going to be 60. So I don't need to subtract 340 from 400 because I already did that. So now the last thing I need to do is create a number model with an answer. And what I do is I just transfer all of this right here and I just 
write it down here. I did the work already by writing out the problem with my scratch work. I just now need to supply the answer I came up with. So 400 take away the total of 163 plus 88 plus 89. And that gives me a total of 340. which leaves me an answer of 60. And that's how I go about solving that problem. There's a few steps in there, um, but with ruckus, that's going to help us organize our thinking. And uh, once we know what the steps are, completing each step is pretty easy. So here's what you're going to do with the remainder of these problems. You're going to read through the number story. You're going to use ruckus to help you uh, organize your thoughts, uh, come up with the action plan needed to solve the problem. Uh, and then the last part they ask you to do is to justify your answer. Does your answer make sense and how do you know? Well, with this problem, my answer makes sense because my estimate is the same size as my actual answer. So yes, my problem makes sense. So what you need to do is once you've come up with an answer, you, you just need to say why you think your answer is correct. How do you know that your answer works? Okay. If you have problems or questions, feel free to reach out to me. Otherwise, we will talk again soon. Thanks.